Are we filming today? Oh, shit. We've got some super fresh ad leaks posts to share with you this week. You can use these tools and tips to run better campaigns and grow your business. We've got lots of stuff for you on adleaks.com, including exclusive deals on dozens of tools that can make your life easier. And please visit the AdLeaks Facebook page for all the latest updates, knowledge units, and more. Also, if you are a member, go to joinadleaks.com right now. You're missing out if you don't sign up. In fact, I'm just going to sit here until you go sign up. Good, thanks. You will not regret it. AdLeaks is also on the social networks you're on, so follow us there too. But first, watch this. Gorgeous combines your email, chat, phone, and social media messages into one streamlined view, making it a breeze for your support team to manage and respond to customers. Gorgeous is built into Shopify, so you can find tracking numbers, check delivery status, even edit a customer's order without leaving the app. Now here's where the magic happens. You can set up automated responses to common questions like, where's my order? Gorgeous can answer simple questions like that, leaving your team to deal with more important inquiries and close more sales. Ultimately, Gorgeous helps you cut response time, scale your support, and generate more sales by providing outstanding customer support. Sign up for a free trial today at Gorgeous.io. All right, let's start with what's new now. This week, we've got a new Google Ads feature for you called Explanations. This tool is still in beta, but Vincent Bama shared an early look with the AdLeaks group, which means we get to share it with you. Take it away, Vincent. So today I want to show you a new feature, a beta feature that pops up in an account, and it's called the Explanations feature. So as you can see here, when this pops up in your account, you will see that some of your numbers will be painted in blue, and once you hover over them, you get to see like, okay, there's a change in clicks or change in impressions or whatever that is. And then it just says, hey, this ad group uh, clicks changed by a certain percentage. And more often than not, it's a pretty big amount of change that is happening. And that's why um, it tries to uh, get your attention on this. So then you can click on view explanations. It opens this little menu and it starts uh, researching the different areas of like search interests, uh, auction activity, all the way down to targeting changes, negative keywords, budgets, and bits. And then it will give you an overview of like, hey, what, what's actually happening in this account? It gives you an overview of the actual ad group. Um, if you do this on a campaign level, you first see it on campaign level and then it all the way goes down to ad group and even keyword level. But since we're already in this campaign, it will see from an ad group perspective. So it shows you exactly, okay, what happened to the impression shell, all the important metrics you get in here. Thanks, Vincent. The whole video is under five minutes, so if you'd like a quick explanation on explanations, this explanation is for you. Next, we've got a new audience analysis tool from Revealbot called Top Audiences. You can use it to identify your best and worst performing audiences across all of your campaigns. Check this out. Today, we're excited to release the latest product from Revealbot called Top Audiences. With top audiences, you can discover your best and worst performing audiences across all your campaigns. Here's how it works. You can find top audience reports in the sidebar of the app. When creating your report, select the ad account you want to analyze and then choose the metrics you want to use to compare your audiences against. You can select up to 10 different metrics at once. Then choose how far back of your data you want to analyze in the time frame. Now when the report is being built, Revealbot will look at all your audiences and combine audiences with the same parameters so you can see the total performance of those audience parameters. If all of your audiences are slightly different, you may want to add some parameters into ignore parameters so similar audiences with slight differences can still be combined. Once you're in the report, you can sort your audiences by any of your chosen metrics in ascending or descending order to find your best and worst performing audiences. We've been partners with Revealbot for a while now, and they have a ton of great features that you can use to automate and optimize your campaigns. If you're an AdLeaks member and you're thinking about using Revealbot, 
Go to adleaks.com and click on Partners at the top of the page. Once you're there, click on Revealbot page and sign up using our exclusive discount. Do it now, thank me later. And if you'd love it, send us a muffin basket or something. All right, here comes some featured video posts from this week. Our first video comes from Maxwell Finn. Maxwell and his team are getting some great returns by matching offers to buyer attitudes. They're learning what buyers want with tools like social media quizzes and presenting an action to match that feeling. Check it out. What's cool about what we do with marketing is we can put these into play, right? We can frame the attitude. We can get the person on the other end to say all these things, to agree with statements, to answer questions that set their attitude as X and then present an offer Y that is an action that aligns with that attitude and it makes it much, much more compelling. Conversion rates go up because them saying no, there's a weird, it, it causes almost a physical reaction. And so what we've been doing is in quiz funnels specifically, it's one of the best formats. But again, you can do this in, you know, if you have a lead gen funnel with email automation, messenger marketing, where you're communicating multiple touch points, or even just retargeting funnels um, or landing pages, you can implement this in a lot of ways. I like quiz funnels because you're getting somebody to engage. It's more, it's more conversational. Um, it's as close as you can get to the, the Thai smoking campaign or this conservation campaign. Um, but what we do is we sit down and we say, let's frame questions. Let's put a list of questions together. Obviously, the goal of the quiz, which might be to give somebody, you know, what's your, your brain, you know, your, your, your productivity score, what's your immunity score, take the quiz to find out, um, whatever it might be. But towards the end, when you present the offer, you can start asking questions designed in a way that you know, based on the way they answer, they're setting up their attitude. Okay. So it could be something as simple as just saying, you know, asking questions, whether it's, you know, it's for, for alpha brain for on it. Hey, if, if you could be as productive as Joe Rogan, would you be? Yes. Um, if you could, uh, if you could improve your, your memory and your focus and you could do it without spending a ton of money or investing a lot of time, would you do it? Right. And these are just lazy. I'm just throwing these questions out there or for immunity product. Let's say you're selling an immunity product that's aimed at the whole family and you're targeting parents to buy for their whole family kids, you can ask questions. Do you think your, your kid's immunity is important? Do you think that your kids should be taking supplements that are all natural and then actually protect them um, for, you know, beyond the, the obvious things they need protection for? But again, just going down these examples, you can spend more time on this than I am right now just in a conversation. Um, but you ask these questions and then you present the offer at the end of that quiz um, or at the end of that engagement that basically says, well, it's amazing that you said these are important to you. So you, let, let's just recap what we, we had a conversation with. You just told us that your, your kid's health is really important to you, that you would like your kids to have only all natural things, that ingredients are important. All these things are super important to you. And guess what? We agree. We thought those exact same things. We think those are all important as well. That's why we created product X because it allows us to take all the things we believe and put them into a bottle and actually act on what we believe. The whole video is less than 15 minutes and you can definitely use these ideas as framework to up your marketing game. Thanks a lot, Maxwell. Next up is a video post from Conrad Peck who shared how he tracks and analyzes weekly trends across Facebook ad accounts. There's lots of good info in here, but I should warn you, this video contains multiple spreadsheets. All this data is pulled from Facebook. So I export it from Facebook. So I'll export the overall account uh, week on week. Then I'll filter by cold week on week um, and then remarketing week on week. And then I'll, I'll pull it into the file. So you can see here, so overall account data, cold uh, and then remarketing. Um, and then you can add any more if you want to. So if say you wanted to anal analyze kind of campaigns, you could add those as well. Um, but this is just kind of how I've got it set up at the moment. Um, and it's just a really useful tool to see the percentage changes in a nice sheet because you can get this data in Facebook. Um, some of this data you don't get. So AOV uh, conversion rate, you don't actually get it inside of Ads Manager. So this is why I kind of put it um, and then I can see like the percentage change. Um, so I can see kind of AOVs uh, increased by 5.53%. Um, and also what I'm using here is conditional formatting. Um, so it's set up so if basically the AOV increases, I've set it up that it turns green. If it decreases, then it turns red. Thanks for sharing, Conrad. Our last video this week is from Justin Brenner. Justin put together a quick explainer on how you can email yourself custom alerts based on data metrics in Google Analytics. 
This is another short video, but it's an important tip that you can use to stay on top of changes in your ad campaigns. Over to you, Justin. It's gonna be a short breeze video. So essentially what you do is you're gonna log into your analytics. You're gonna to go to admin. Under the admin, under the view setting, there's a section down here way at the bottom, which most people don't see and scroll. It's called custom alerts. Under this, you're going to be able to set up specific alerts about any data that you want to be notified of. Uh, very, very powerful if you um, are tagging things. Um, you can even look at the performance of specific ads if you would like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at ad performance uh, for ad ID. We tag all of our, our uh, things with ad IDs, 323. All right, uh, you go in here and you're gonna pick your view. Here you can set your period. So we're gonna do a day over day time. Uh, here you would set up your email and where you wanna set the alert. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna say, this applies to anything with ad content, matches exactly to 323, which is the ad ID for the specific ad that we wanna know. I wanna be alerted when revenue drops less than 20% day over day. I'm sorry, decreases by more than 20% uh, versus previous day. Great tip, thanks Justin. And that's all we've got for AdLeaks TV episode 16. Thanks for sticking around. One more extra special thanks to this week's contributors and not just the contributors you saw today. There's a ton of text posts, discussions, Q and A's, and more that keep our groups busy all week, every week. If you aren't keeping up, be sure to check out the AdLeaks groups on Facebook. And if you still aren't an AdLeaks member, go to joinadleaks.com and get in there. We've got ways to make your ads better, expand your reach, grow your business, and so much more. There's more AdLeaks TV on our YouTube channel, and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to AdLeaks on your favorite social network. I'm Luke Koska, and thanks again for watching AdLeaks TV.